Cat7 and Cat8 are both types of Ethernet cable used to connect devices in a wired network. While they serve the same purpose, there are several key differences. In this video, we're going to have a look at what those differences are. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with cable construction. Cat7 cables consist of four twisted pairs of copper wires. Individual shielding is added to each pair to reduce interference and support higher frequencies, enabling faster speeds. It is designed to keep the twisted pairs separate in order to increase performance by minimizing what is known as internal crosstalk inside the cable. Cat8 cables are similar in design, but Cat8 goes a step further than Cat7 and adds an additional layer of shielding to further reduce interference, enabling even faster speeds. This is why Cat8 cables can have a slightly thicker appearance than Cat7. Now let's look at speed. Cat7 cables support data transfer speeds of 10 gigabits per second, and Cat8 cables support data transfer speeds up to an incredible 40 gigabits per second. Another difference to mention is the range at which they can transfer data at their maximum speed. Cat7 cables can transfer at their max speed of 10 gigabits per second up to a cable length of around 100 meters. Cat8, on the other hand, can be up to 30 meters long when transmitting at their max speed of 40 gigabits per second. It's worth mentioning that Cat8 can still transmit data at 25 gigabits per second up to 100 meters. Now let's look at interference, also known as crosstalk. Cat7 cables are more susceptible to interference and crosstalk compared to Cat8 cables. This means that in high traffic or noisy environments, Cat7 may experience more signal degradation, potentially leading to a complete loss of signal. Finally, let's look at cost. Cat7 cables are generally less expensive than Cat8 cables due to their lower specifications and performance. However, Cat7 and Cat8 cables are likely to be overkill in a home setting and are usually used in an office or data center where there is likely to be high interference, high amounts of data being transmitted, and extremely long cables in use. For almost all home users, Cat6 or even Cat5 is more than capable. Cat5 versus Cat6 is a much more useful comparison for most people, and I've left a link to my previous video comparing those two cable standards in the description. I have also left a link in the description to the Cat6 cable I use personally if you're looking to buy one. I will earn a small commission from this at no extra cost to you. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.